Hey y'all. So I'm finally getting around to doing my Target in the dressing room. So I'm here in the parking lot. Very glamorous. And um, it's a beautiful day and <laughs> what a great time to go inside. <laughs> so I'm gonna check out the plus size clothes selection here at this Target and see what they have and hopefully find some stuff to try on. So let's go inside and see what they have. Welcome to the dressing room with me. This is just the outfit I came in, just showing you. And I'm very excited to get started. And here are the Bermuda style shorts that I tried on. These are a size 26 and they're just a little tight in the waist. Um, so I'm kind of iffy about them. I don't really like things that are tight. They fit really well on the legs, um, but I don't think they're for me. And I did keep them on for a little bit. I tried on this t-shirt with them. This is a size 4X Ava and Viv t-shirt. It's got these yellow designs mixed in with these kind of mint colored stripes that are not showing up very well on camera. I did like this shirt a lot. I think it fit really nicely. Um, it's a nice length. I could tuck it in or leave it out. I think the arms fit really well. Um, they're not too long. A lot of times plus size t-shirts have really long arms and I don't like that very much. And here's the next thing that I tried on. I am, you can tell by my face, not into this shirt. Um, it's got like a dolman sleeve or an undefined sleeve, which I don't like. I picked it up because I liked this ruffle on the arm, but overall this shirt is not for me. The style seems to be oversized. Um, it has this little notch on the side. It's slightly longer in back. We continue the oversized trend with this weirdly cut <laughs> shirt. I picked it up because I liked the detailing at the neckline, these straps here that I'm showing you. But the way that it falls and the thinness of the material is pretty unappealing to me. Um, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way you can see the texture of my bra through the shirt. It's kind of weird. Um, but I did like the coloring. It was kind of a heathered blue-gray. Um, here I'm indicating that I would wear it with something that's high-waisted, like a high-waisted skirt. And then this shirt, which I liked a lot more than the others, it's like a sweatery, super, super stretchy material. So this shirt could totally fit much larger. Um, it had that cute detailing on the sleeves with the slash and the tie that you can adjust to fit any size arm. And I wanted to be sure and tell you all that. So if you have larger arms, this shirt would be great for you. It was really soft. And this is like a purpley, heathered gray color, but it's not really coming across on camera. I liked this. Um, it was very comfortable. And then the dress, I only picked one dress to try on. This is a size 4X. Um, it is a faux wrap dress. It has a separate tie belt out of the same material. It has pockets. I was very excited about that. Um, so you can see on the sleeve that it has this kind of double layer detailing. I'm going to go in tighter in a second to show you. And it has a little snap at the bust line to keep the um, surplus neckline from gaping open, which I love. I was really excited about that. It's a nice detail. Here's the detail of the arms. You can see it's like two layers, it kind of almost looks like a ruffle. Um, so this dress fit a little large on me. It's a size 4X. I did like it, you can see the thumbs up. I felt cute in it. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it definitely was a little big. Here I'm just showing you the faux wrap styling and how far over the faux wrap goes. So you don't have to worry about it blowing open and showing anything. Y'all, the tiny backpacks. This is where you need to come if you need one. Hand for reference. It's so tiny. Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm at home. My trip to Target was fun and um, I ended up buying a few things. Um, one that I tried on and then two that I knew would fit because I tried it on. So um, the only thing that I bought from the things that I tried on was this t-shirt. Are you surprised? I'm a little surprised. Um, I love these colors. You can see the colors much better now than you could when I was in the dressing room. Um, so yellow is my favorite color, especially 
this like kind of darker yellow and I love it with this kind of um, minty almost cucumbery kind of color it looks more mint on camera. Um, I think it's really cute and I don't own any kind of like white t-shirt. And now that it's gonna be summer, I just thought, let me get something. I can throw it on with jean shorts. Um, and I just kept that pair from my Dia box and I think it's gonna look really cute. I did try this on with the jean shorts at Target, but those were just a little tight, so I didn't get them. But I thought it looked cute there, so I think it'll look super cute with shorts that actually fit me properly. <laughs> um, and I have purchased these Ava and Viv v-neck t-shirts before, and I do like them, so um, they tend to hold up pretty well. Uh, so I got this one, and then I went ahead and grabbed a black and white striped one because um, you cannot go wrong with black and white stripes. I like that this one is um, thicker black, thinner white stripes. I don't have one like this. So, you know, this will be great. I can wear it with shorts. I can wear it with a skirt um, tucked in. Um, I think it'll be really versatile. And then I did get a navy blue one in a size 3X. So it's one size smaller than I would normally grab, but I wanted to fit a little tighter because I got this specifically to wear with that um, skirt that I kept from my last Dia and Co box, um, the like pink skirt with the navy blue and the white on it. So I don't have any just like thin t-shirt kind of top to wear with it. I have that crop top and um, I have the like little heavier like light sweater cold shoulder with the ruffle from um, Eloquy. Was that from Eloquy? I think so. Um, no, that was from Loft. That blue sweater was from Loft. But that's a little heavier. The crop top is a little more revealing. Maybe sometime I'll just want a little more coverage and a lighter weight. So I got this t-shirt because these are only $8. So I thought, what the heck? Um, so I got all three of these. And then, you know, some random stuff. Because when you're at Target, you always end up picking up random other things. I bought some scrunchies. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, <laughs> I wanted to just talk about um, the Target plus size offerings in general. And um, I did comment, you know, in the voiceover about the way that things fit. I just, I find it really frustrating the way that the sizing is, especially just, I'll just speak for Ava and Viv which I think is like mostly now what they have for plus size. I don't know if there really is anything else other than Ava and Viv. If there is, oh, well, actually there is because the, the shorts were a different brand, but the sizing just seems kind of all over the place. So these shirts are called a 4X and on the tag it says 28 slash 30. The clothing that I tried on, some of it, was in numbers like the shorts were size 26 and um the rest of the stuff i think was all 4x and the fit was all over the place um right now the look is oversized so stuff is running a little bigger like those tops that i tried on um were a little bigger but it's not always like that Sometimes when I try things on in a 4X, they don't fit. So last season, there was a lot of straight up and down cut, like that kind of silhouette, like a sheath cut, not like an A-line. And so things didn't fit me on bottom. This time, that dress that I tried on did fit me, and it was actually big on me. So what size is that then? If it's supposed to be a 2830, that should fit me perfectly, but it was actually big on me. So like I probably could have worn their 3X. But last year or last season when I tried things on the 4x was too small for me and then the jeans were the um, universal thread I think is the brand um, and those ran pretty true to size maybe a tiny bit small so those shorts were a size 26 um, and you know it's hard to tell so like a torrid 26 and they're like kind of similar stretch jeans kind of situation I can wear my favorite pair of jeggings from them is a size 26. So I tried on these shorts, they're a little small. I don't really fault them for that because my bottom half, really like a 26 is kind of a squeeze. So those probably fit pretty true to size. Maybe torrid sizes are slightly generous, which I think is true. Um, but it's like 
so weird to me that the largest size those shorts came in was a 26, but then the Ava and Viv 4X is technically supposed to be a 2830. So I'm just not really sure <laughs> what I'm supposed to think about their sizing. Why isn't there a size 28 from that Universal Thread brand? Um, if there had been, those shorts would have fit me really nicely and I would have been super into them. I would have purchased them. Um, if you're gonna go to a, what is a 2830 in Ava and Viv, which is not always a 2830, you need to go to at least a 28 with these shorts. So it's hard, like I don't usually go to Target to look for clothes because I know that I have such an issue with fit there. I have purchased these t-shirts in the past because t-shirts are a lot easier to fit. Um, these t-shirts to me do not fit like a 2830. Um, Maybe a 28, maybe a 26, 28 seems more accurate. Um, I don't think that a 30 um, would have the fit that they're supposed to fit like. You know what I mean? Like you could get it on your body, but it's gonna be tight. It, you know, it's gonna be like skin tight, I think. Um, anyway, I just don't understand target sizing. And this is just like kind of a greater comment about sizing in general. Like, why is there no universal size chart? It blows my mind. Stuff is so crazy. I just want to be able to know what my size is across the board. But instead, we have to know at Target, I'm a four or, um, you know, at Target, I'm a four. At Target, I'm a four X or it doesn't fit me. You know, like at um, Lane Bryant, I'm a 26, 28 or 28 if it's available. Um, you know, just like whatever, like. I don't like having to remember all these different sizes or to know that like this brand runs big or this one does vanity sizing and this one um, like ASOS is crazy. You know, it's like ASOS, oh, well, it says it's a 22, but it'll actually fit a 26, 28, but you have to know that you can't try it on. It's so crazy, especially with all these brands where you can only order them online. Anyway, I'm just bitching about sizing now. So let's end this because I'm not even talking about Target anymore so this was a super fun inside the dressing room it was my first time doing one at target it's only my second one ever doing it at all i'm gonna do one um soon at torrid i think do you guys want to see that um are there other stores where you'd like to see that maybe at lane bryant um or avenue i'm trying to think what other brick and mortar stores there are. The next time I go to Austin, I wanna film one at the Mod Cloth store, which I think would be really fun. Um, so yeah, if you have suggestions, put them below. And yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope it was helpful for you maybe to see these clothes on a body um, that looks like mine, that is my size. And yeah, like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you would like to see more from me. And come join the community over on Facebook. There's a link in the description box. Uh, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.